Hello, I'm Lara Sermon, and I'm an artist exploring the natural world around me, specifically wild plants. I recently completed this art project for the city of Richmond, where I brought the forest floor to the main entrance of Richmond Cultural Center. I also create these botanical photographs of wild plants to document their life cycle, and as a way to teach myself how to identify different flora. Today we are going to make a bryophyte terrarium, then observe the bryophytes up close with a magnifying glass and draw what we see. A bryophyte is a non-flowering plant. It's typically what you would consider a moss, but it also includes liverworts and hornworts. I'll be focusing on moss for this exercise. The water and food conducting tubes within bryophytes aren't very well developed, so this means they tend to be quite small and they need to grow in an area that has a lot of water. Because British Columbia is such a wet province, we have the largest diversity of bryophytes in all of Canada. To create your bryophyte terrarium, you'll need a container to hold your plant material, some gravel or sand, dirt, and bryophytes. Please make sure to not take from private property unless you have permission, and do not collect your bryophyte specimens if there aren't a lot of them growing in that area. I found my moss growing on my lawn, in my garden, on bricks, and on the sidewalk. You can use a hand trowel or a stick to help dislodge them from the ground. Once you have your container, add less than an inch of either gravel or sand. This is to help drain off any excess water. Next, add less than an inch of dirt on top of the sand, then place your different bryophytes gently on top. Now you can sprinkle it with some water. If it looks and feels really dry, sprinkle some water on it to keep it moist. These are the stems and the leaves of one of the moss that I have collected. On another moss, this here, is called the capsule. It contains spores, which are like seeds but smaller. When the spores are released from the capsule, they're blown into the air, and if they're lucky, they'll land in an area where they can grow into new bryophytes. This stalk underneath the capsule is called the seda. The seda on a moss will be long like this one. On a liverwort, it will have a very short seda. Do you know if you're growing a moss or a liverwort based on the length of the seda? The capsules and seda may not be apparent at this time of year for all bryophytes, but you will be able to find them on some. Observe the capsule, seda, leaves closely when you draw your bryophyte. Now using your magnifying glass, observe it up close and draw what you see. Try to fill up the sheet and don't worry if your drawing is rough or if you don't recreate it perfectly. We're using drawing as a tool to help us observe our bryophytes. Drawing is a way to teach ourselves how to see. For updates on what I'm up to, follow me on Instagram and be sure to follow Two Rivers Gallery as well. Thanks for watching.